What are some everyday skills you wish were taught in school? In this video, I'm going to give you my answer, so make sure you stick around. Hey, what's cooking, guys? This is Marcel from Slamming It Out, and thank you for watching this video. Thanks for tuning in again. And I have received another great question the other day. And uh, this person wants to know what are some everyday skills you wish were taught in school? And this is an excellent question because there are so many skills we can learn, have to learn to yeah, master our lives, to improve, to self-develop. But there is one skill which is completely moving underneath, beneath the radar for so many people. And this is, these are financial skills, money skills. Yeah. Ever wondered why the topic of money and uh, financing or finance is never taught in school? Have you ever thought about this? You know, we use money every day. We are using it on a daily basis. Nobody can tell me they don't think about money or uh, they don't worry about money because we worry about money. Money is a great motivator and we are dealing with money on a daily basis. We go shopping, yeah, we have to pay our bills, everybody carries a wallet with cash in it so we are touching it, we are feeling it. This is, nobody can deny that money is a very, very important issue uh, in our lives. But we don't have any skills. We, we, most of us, we know how to spend money. Yeah? And some of us also know how to save money. But this is not all when it comes to financial skills, as I call it. You know? Henry Ford, the great American entrepreneur, said something very significant when he was alive. So he said, uh, I'm quoting him now, he said something in the lines of, if the people of the United States would understand the current banking and monetary system before seven o'clock the next morning, there would be a revolution. Yeah? So you have to think about that statement. And Henry Ford was not just some idiot. He was one of the most successful entrepreneurs at the time. Uh, he was one of the richest people, so he understood money. He had money. He was rich. He know he knew how to make it, you know, by uh, creating a great product, uh, the Ford T model. But um, he understood the money in the banking system, and we, and also at the time today, most of the people, 99.9% .9 of the people, have no bloody clue how money even comes into existence and how the entire money game works. So that's why uh, nothing has changed today. Yeah, also, it's the same, the same game is being played. And therefore, uh, this is my, uh, my belief, and it's actually a fact, that uh, money is not being taught in school because certain people, a certain group of people, do not want that we learn about money and everything uh, what is connected to it. You know, this is the sad truth. So what can you do? Uh, a very simple solution here. You can go into any bookstore and get some uh, good books into your hand and study and learn about money. There are plenty of books available. Um, the only uh, tip I want to give you here in this video is uh, one uh, book, which I have also read a few years ago, which is a great entry into this topic of um, learning about money and uh, finances and acquire financial skills and financial literacy. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad from Robert Kiyosaki. I'm pretty sure some of you have already heard about this book or even read it. Even better if you have read the book already. Why do I recommend this book? Because it is really a great entry into this, into this whole topic. And uh, this book really, really changed my understanding uh, of money and uh, about money. And um, 
yeah, it basically also kind of changed the direction and the destiny of my life. But this is the book, in my opinion, you have to read first. And that's why I recommend it. It is so important that we acquire skills about money, not only earn money, waste it, spend it. You know, this is what most people only know uh, to do. They know how to um, go to a dead end job every day from nine to five. Uh, having the weekends off if they are lucky, earning their money just to pay their bills and some other crap. And um, that's what people do. Yeah. Uh, and the second problem is, of course, uh, to their excuse, to the excuse of the people, I would like to mention also that, of course, our society is a hedonistic, consumerist society and has been deliberately engineered for the past decades to make us dependent on money and to you know to, to build up this consumerist culture you know to spend the money right away which we have earned with hard work so this is a vicious cycle which has been deliberately created and on top of that people need to be kept in the dark about what money really is and how it works and all the other stuff and this is really true. When you look around, people just uh, as soon as they earn their money, they spend it again. You know, I'm, I have a few colleagues I'm working with together now here in Austria. And I can tell you firsthand because from the conversations I, I overhear what kind of things they talk about. And when it comes to money spending or spending or consuming, you know, the same old bloody boring and actually dangerous stuff they talk about. And they wonder why. They are not, uh, can make ends meet, you know, or have no money left at the end of the month. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, my, my answer to, to the question, what skills should be, in, uh, should be taught in school. In my opinion, money should be a subject in school. Yeah. And of course, I have no time to go into a further detail here what money is and how it comes to existence. There are plenty of books uh, available if you wish me of course to talk about it a little bit more of course i'm happy to do it yeah i have researched this topic in, in, in intensively and extensively uh, so i claim to have uh, some uh, experience and knowledge about this topic yeah, because i'm very interested but here this is uh, the thing you really need to put on your list uh, because many many people do not understand even the importance of knowing about money, how can they if they're always being kept in the dark for, for many, many actually centuries already. So make it your priority to learn and study about money. Make it a priority to acquire financial literacy and financial intelligence. Because if you are financially intelligent, then uh, you will make much better and uh, much smarter decision in your own life, which of course affect also the destiny of your life and of course your financial situation. So with that being said, I'm checking out for today. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me your comments in the comment sections. If you have any, yeah, if you liked this video, I don't need to uh, tell or ask you to click the like button. Of course, you will do it. Share this video with your friends, colleagues, family members, if you like. Also, check out the description for my social media links uh, and accounts and also my online classes, which are available on Udemy and Skillshare. Last but not least, please check out my website, www marclr.com there is more content my blog posts are there you can find and read them there and also you can watch uh, many more videos uh, yeah uh, okay that's it for today i'm gonna see you next week with uh, another question i will pick and then yeah stay healthy stay safe and don't forget guys always keep slamming it out take care bye bye